Hello there Aries and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. And of course Aries, we're going to be finding out all that we can when it comes to your current situation from spirit. For Aries and Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, what does Aries need to know? You've got a bountiful time that awaits you actually Aries, so um, stay in a, a state of appreciation. You know, I'm really getting something paying off here. So I'm like getting a combination of seven of pentacles and also nine of pentacles. So we've got earth sign coming through Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through here, Aries, because there's something that if you're not um, feeling so fabulous, and I hope you are, you will be. Uh, some of you, you just, you may need to just start focusing on the good things in life rather than um, staying focused on maybe for some of you, not all of you, but maybe there's, you know, a lot of mental activity that's, uh, you know, getting carried away here where, you know, you don't want to give in to just um, seeing the surface of things or, you know, give in to negative thinking for some of you because there is a change that is happening here. It's like, you know, what, what I'm getting to for you, Aries, is a time period of where maybe once you thought you were attached to something or an idea or believed or, or a person, um, and maybe that, that, or maybe you felt that attachment towards you, um, and you're starting to ease away from that, which is uh, actually putting you more in the flow of um, receiving something really divine, Aries, okay? So... I feel that she has this handkerchief, you know, and it's like, hmm, yeah, she went through a period of maybe um, having to grieve something, um, having to heal something, but now the grief and the tears are from joy and appreciation because now we are seeing our blessings in life. Ooh, Aries. I feel some of you Aries may resonate with the last SOS reading, so if I remember, I will put that video in the description uh, box below, okay? Um, but yeah, stay in the attitude of gratitude right now. You are in the flow of receiving regardless of what the circumstances may look like on the surface, okay? Let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your situation for Aries. We have the, oh, see, we've got the spiritual realm really working with you and the thinking man. So um, I, I do feel that there's something about you guys uh, having some type of mastery here, even though it's been challenging with, you know, the mental faculties here, because uh, we do have this thinking man and we have this uh, seventh chakra. So this is the chakra that is open to divine consciousness, divine uh, intelligence, divine healing energy source, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to put it, it's, it's a force that's higher. Well, no, no, let's not say that. Uh, it's the universal force, right? So um, it is the almighty force here. But anyhow, uh, I see that there's, you know, this appreciation between you and the spiritual realm, um, Aries. So a lot of you, there may be something like, you know, inventive going on with you with problem solving or creating something, um, ingenuity here. Uh, so be willing to, you know, transform an idea or something that maybe you thought was hard or challenging or confusing. Now, some of you, you have, because I feel that you've been in a p period of like the hangman where you've maybe felt like there were delays and stuff, but actually on the surface, it seemed like delays, but what uh, really was going on was that you're getting spiritually um, more in tuned and heightened. Um, and there's a lot going on between you receiving messages and energies from the spiritual realm. So, you know, really pay attention to your visions, your feelings. Some of you, you know, this thinking, man, you could be drawing in a person, um, whether, you know, it's spiritually or physically here that is uh, gifting to you a lot of uh, divine knowledge, or I'm seeing someone who's problem solving as well. Okay. So, yeah, let's continue and see what else. we. I'm picking up air sign. I don't know if I said that. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see, what else for uh, Aries? Also, Aries, this thinking man is, you know, accessing um, this record keeper here in this crystal. So, you know, there may be something about accessing Ak Akashic records, um, you know, maybe past energies, but, um, 
that's going to only help you with moving forward here into the future. Okay. It's not about getting stuck in, in a past energy, right? It's about just being able to see all things happening at one time here, which is giving you this spiritual insight and awareness. Okay. So you need that because we are in a place of indecision, aren't we? Hmm. So some of you, you may need to pause and reflect before you uh, make any sudden choices. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. So with this indecision, so this is like air sign. Let's get a little bit more about this indecision and what uh, you want Aries to know when it comes to indecision here. You got to trust in the unknown and I got to show you something too. Right before I flip this card over, um, I'm seeing this star shaped leaf here, or maybe it is a star. No, it is a maple leaf that's falling, but it looks um, exactly like a star. <laughs> so I'm just seeing this thing about star alignment, universal alignment. Look at what came out for you. You got to trust in the unknown Aries. Okay. Don't get stuck in a place of, um, not being able to decide, you know, sometimes for some of you Aries, what may help you, but always do what feels right for you. Maybe just uh, taking a moment, closing your eyes, getting to a place where you can just silence everything and hear this inner wisdom and trust in Father Sky to guide you. Um, and so when you're thinking about a path, a decision, whatever, you know, maybe visualize how would you feel and think about it if the choice was done and if it feels more in tuned and you know, sings with your soul, then go with that. But if it feels like it's going to give you more hesitation or co concerns or confusion, then back away from that. Um, but some of you Aries, it's really about just making that first step. Okay. Um, not trying to go back and forth, which way is the best here. Either way is going to be the best, right? It's just about taking that step forward here. So don't let anything stop you is what father sky is letting you know. See how divinely loved and protected you are as you move towards your goals here. What else? There is something strategic going on here. And I feel a lot of you Aries, maybe you've come up with a plan, uh, but also just be open and surrender, right? By not overthinking, just being in a place of um, appreciating what's going on right now, because when you're open, then you can really surrender to Father Sky and get divine, um, you know, messages and a strategic plan, because there's something about getting a strategic plan in place here for some of you Aries. We got um, messages of love from the Father Sky here. So a lot of you Aries, uh, I feel that there is a maybe a new, maybe some of you will find like a maybe a new profound appreciation between you and the spiritual realm, um, but also be open to maybe a new possibility when it comes to love or doing something that you love, Aries. Okay, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what was behind this uh, page of cups here for Aries. Oh my goodness. I like, I like, I like, guess what? It's the 10 of cups. <laughs> Trust in the un unknown appreciation. Why? Because even though you don't see it yet, Aries, appreciate it because it is on its way. You're, you know, in this garden, whoops. And it's like literally can manifest right before your eyes here. So you are reaping re rewards. You are, um, you know, going to come into a bountiful here. So, you know, one thing can lead to another for some of you, Aries, in search of love, because we do have the 10 of cups. So that is signifying a strong, um, you know, uh, love life, a strong home life, family life, whatever you want here, Aries. Okay. So enjoy this new period. I'm seeing this thing about you enjoying, like really being, um, in a place of emotional pleasure, spiritual pleasure. I mean, I mean, all of it, uh, but it's going to feel so new to you. Even if for some of you Aries, um, 
you know, for some it could be, you know, a, a reigniting here uh, with a current uh, relationship and, you know, family situation for some of you. But for a lot of you, you're coming into the unknown here. And I do feel a lot of you Aries are attracting towards you, whether it's a thinking man or woman here, um, a partnership that could lead to a strong, you know, uh, strong love life here. Okay. Now, for some of you, Aries, there could even be a child or children involved with your love life. Hmm, okay. What else? So just take that if it resonates. Oh my God, Aries, I can't even. Spirit, you are so funny. Look at, okay. Oh my goodness. This is like 10 of cups. Again, pay attention right now to family members, including, including the furry ones, or maybe your reptilian, some of you, <laughs> your animals. Okay your family, your friends, and just cherish that right now. This is what spirit is saying. Just focus on this. This should be your priority. Actually, don't let overthinking take control for some of you Aries. Okay. Just take control by just focusing. What's a priority happiness, right? Your happiness, your health, your healing, the people around you. What a perfect time too for this. I'm even sensing like four of wands here with this happy family card. So some of you Aries might find, um, you know, connecting on a deeper level with maybe uh, kind of newer current relationships that you might have just got involved with. OK, or you will deepen these as you go along here on your journey. It's like a sense of welcoming home sweet home here. What else? But yes, you do have to go through this period of trusting in the unknown. What else for Aries? You got to shift your perception, Aries. Some of you just, you know, take if it resonates, okay? Oh, don't get upset. Just, you know, we all do it. It doesn't matter. We're all human. But for some, try to pay attention if you're complaining a lot or giving into complaints, okay? Um, now, some of you, this is just about broadening, broadening your perspective because we do have eagle spirit here. So, um... Gosh, that's kind of weird. I just got this weird message about something echoing here. So some of you, there was something about. Hmm. It's almost like, I don't know, Aries, I feel like you're echoing something and you're trying to get an echo back here. So it's like maybe for some, you, you know, maybe you're questioning whether or not your prayers, your dreams and your visions are being heaven sent and heard. They are. They have been. Okay. And I feel that a lot of you Aries have a strong connection with Archangel Michael right now, or you will. Okay. Uh, so some of you just don't give into, uh, some type of limited thinking, especially if it makes you feel like you have to, um, you know, restrict yourself from it or, you know, guard yourself from it. Cause it isn't about restricting yourself, guarding yourself. It's cause right now you want to be receptive and fluid here. So, um, Spirit is doing something and gifting to you some type of perception. So this is why I'm like picking up hanged man for a lot of you, um, where, you know, we're really getting in tune with the spiritual realm um, and seeing things in the eyes of spirit here, especially when it comes to, you know, things that we may need to detach from in order to get a broader perspective. What else for Aries? And I have action and then we have the chakra archangel, archangel and Gabriel and all tied up. <laughs> There's something that's holding some of you guys back. It's the shifting your perception about like expressing something that you want to express, but you're for some reason we can't, or we're feeling tied down by this. So some of you, it's, you know, you really have to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and just express what it is that you want and need here. I want a little bit more too with the action card for Aries. 
because Aries, I'm, I'm feeling like this, there is this universal, universal alignment if we just break free from something here. It's just like, maybe it's just one thought away or um, maybe for some of you, it's about allowing yourself the freedom to express yourself the way that you want, the way that you want to dress, the way you want to do your hair, uh, the way you want to, you know, carry yourself. Um, because I feel for some of you Aries, you felt a little bit held back by that, or you've transformed and you're doing something here and, and maybe you're a little scared here, but you know, this fifth chakra is your, you know, self-expression. It's also uh, being able to uh, speak here uh, effectively, right? So let's get a little bit more with this action for Aries. Hmm. What's kind of weird. <laughs> oh my God. It's kind of weird is I'm actually seeing like, uh, I'm seeing something about parking it here. You know, don't make any sudden movements. Actually, for some of you, you need to be in this position that you're at right now. Yes, you do. You need to be careful too. For some of you areas, you know, there may be some kind of um, hostile person or situation that could be looming. <laughs> oh my goodness, all tied up here. Action hostilities. Oh yeah, see, I knew it. I knew it. I just feel this is like, you know, reframing from uh, having to do something where we may make matters worse for some of you Aries, because look, it's like for some of you Aries, you may need to resist the temptation to maybe lash out, uh, especially if you know some of you Aries, you know, maybe be impulsive here. You know, I feel that there's something about effectively communicating what you want in a respectful manner, right? Um, but also with some type of assertiveness and compassion though, so that we aren't making matters worse, okay? So I feel for some of you, there is something or someone here that you need to maybe pay attention to and watch out, okay? Now, some of you, Aries, I feel that maybe for some, you could be a little guarded here too. So there may be something with allowing your shields to be brought down, okay? Because especially if you've, if you've been feeling like um, you've had to be a warrior, you know, and uh, you've had to put on, um, you know, a strong uh, energy because we've had to just stand strong in a situation. Well, now it's time to kind of bring that down, okay, is what Spirit is saying. Soften yourself right now, Aries, um, because a lot of you, you do have the capability of sensing things out too. So when your gut instincts and your sensors are telling you, you know, um, to, to maybe stay silent or back away or just don't do that, uh, then it's, you know, it's your intuition and it's Father Sky guiding you um, and navigating you away from problems here or something that could be problematic. Uh, what else for Aries? Victory Aries, see, look at this, you're gonna win. There's something about you winning in calm confidence, right? Or just having some, some ability here to remain strong and positive, even in the face of adversity here or others, or maybe for some, our own <laughs> challenges with our, you know, maybe temper for some, not all of you. Um, but I love this. I'm getting like six of wands here with this victory. So some of you, you may even have victory when it comes to, you know, your health um, goals, okay? Physical health goals, uh, healing, healing of the heart here. Hmm? Victory and feeling like what you've been uh, fighting for, you finally won, right, Aries? And our eyes are closed because we just know and we are in tuned that we are winning. So this is a time not to give in to any weaknesses that you perceive, Aries, because I feel some of you, Aries, are something that maybe you perceive as a, as a weakness, because I feel for some of you, maybe, maybe for some of you, Aries, not all, but maybe because you're a sensitive person here, it's been hard for you to really communicate what you want because you're afraid of hurting others' feelings. You got, you can't, you can't be concerned. That's just extra, you know, baggage that you carry with you. 
uh, whether you realize it or not here. So there's no need to feel uh, bad. There's no need to feel guilty. Um, you know, this is why some of you areas, you've just got to detach emotionally here and see it from a higher perspective. Um, especially when it comes to, you know, balancing the scales of one's own life. Uh, what else for Aries? You're releasing the old and see, look at that rest. See, this is why I was getting this thing about park it, right? Cause I'm like seeing this as like chariot, like running forward here, <laughs> but we might not, we might need a hold back here in, in some sense, right? because you're, you're releasing this old and you need some rest. Because for some of you Aries, whether you're in a place of indecision, you will come up to a place where you're gonna have to decide, right? That's just life. But spirit wants you to, you know, get excited and give into the unknown instead of going backwards, right? Which I don't see you Aries doing that, but there may be some temptation with that because it's familiar. But does uh, familiar give you victory? Does it give you this fulfillment? If it does, then that's the right thing. If it doesn't, then you you know. Uh, what else for Aries? And look, we got Raven here. Yay. See, I didn't even notice. Raven spirit came out for you too. Nice. patience. Yeah, look at this. Something is working in your favor here. Even money-wise too so, uh, for a lot of you Aries cuz look, that victory card I was getting 6 of wands, so that could be about, you know, rising up the ladder of success, promotions, um having more status here, okay? Uh either way though, you're a winner, okay? And patience with uh, you know, your money too, you're building up something solid in your life uh, with a person as well. Okay. And, you know, I'm seeing this woman holding a coin who has taken a lot of time to really assess herself, her or himself, um, and valuing themselves, appreciating themselves, right? Not in a conceited way to where we're feeding that, uh, that negative ego side, but in a way where we have a balanced time, or you know, we have a balance with uh, time, our time, and what we're doing with ourselves here, right? And maintaining healthy boundaries, um, you know, with all things in our life, right? Um, and being able to be self-reliant as well for some of you, Aries, because I'm getting like nine of pentacles with this appreciation card, which would be um, attracting this like queen of pentacles energy too, so... Um, yeah, it's only a matter of time for you guys to see the results that you want. And also, you know, someone of quality here too, for a lot of you Aries. Okay. What else for Aries? Look at all this, th this thing about resting here. <laughs> it's like, <"Arr>, park, <laughs> rest. You know, uh, because here this page, the page of cups too, is because you're, you know, opening up to new insight, uh, getting very creative with your insights as well. So we do have hermit here, retreat and recharge. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Because you want to be in feeling empowered here when you uh, make a choice or for some of you, Maybe, goodness, it could, could it even be for some of you Aries that you're trying to make a, a decision when you don't need to right now? <laughs> like you're just making it worse. Bide your time for better results, okay? Man, I feel like, uh, hopefully it'll come out, but I feel like what needs to come out is the card that's in here that says, um, wait for important information, okay? And I feel like we should just look at this card too. See, look at this, trust and thrive. I mean, this is the woman holding a coin. Um, was I talking about, yeah, I think, I thought I was talking about the seven of pentacles here, you know, reaping rewards, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Anyhow, Aries, 
We have stag energy, which is all about uh, believing in yourself, taking the lead, even though we don't see everything yet or we don't have plans for every single detail, you don't need to. In fact, that could be bothering some of you guys too. You could be getting too detailed, Aries, or too far into the future. I mean, literally, just try to think about the next week if you can or the next day. Don't make it too hard on yourself for some of you, Aries. Just trust, you know, the biggest thing is if you're going to invest your time and your energy, don't give it to indecision. Give it to actually resting your mind so that you can make a decision um, because you are meant to thrive in this lifetime, Aries. Okay. Look at this like royalty we got going on here. Okay. Trust that you are meant to thrive and you are thriving. Let's, let's take a little coffee break because <laughs> I have my coffee with me and my water. Okay. I feel like this card is doing something here. <laughs> when I was, I felt like it just wanted to show itself. I accept and create more flow and pleasure in my life. Well, that looks, see some of you guys, you don't realize that you're actually hitting the reset button. You're you're in charge, right? And maybe some of you, you thought you were in charge, but now you're more in charge here, right? Being in your emperor energy, right? Taking control, retreating and recharging so that we can be in this place of accepting and creating more flow. And a lot of you have, so don't worry, okay? I accept and create more flow and pleasure in my life. Just go with that. Go to sleep with that. Wake up with this. Meditate with this. This is going to help you navigate through this. What else for Aries? Get out, get out, get out of your comfort zone though, Aries. Some of you got the garden and the gate. Yeah. Yeah. What you, you know, some of you Aries, yes, you're proud of what you have accomplished, you know, but this garden, the gate could speak about there's hesitation because we're comfortable where we're at. But in order to have growth or have a new experience, we got to be willing to stretch a little. We got to be willing to get out of our comfort zone too. Hmm. So take that time to meditate, retreat, recharge, do what you got to do. Okay. Now some of you, something else is going on. Let me get a little bit more though. Something else is going on with this garden, and this gate, because I feel like the hesitation might be a good thing here. Let's get a little bit more though, Aries, only because of that like hostilities thing here. So let's get a little bit more with the garden and the gate for Aries. Aries, wasn't, wasn't I talking about the seven of pentacles earlier with you? I thought I was, maybe not. Anyhow, cause I'm just seeing this garden here, right? And we're comfortable with what we've done and what we're building, but there's more for you to experience here. Give me more with this garden and the gate. What do you want Aries to know about this garden and the gate? Hmm. Take time to heal. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The seven of pentacles. Okay. I just, I knew this. Okay. I mean, you heard me, right? Didn't I literally just say the seven of pentacles? Okay, Aries, look at this. Take the time, right? Now, for some of you guys, oh my gosh. We have this thing about releasing the old and rest, Aries. Okay, some of you, whether the heartbreak. Now, listen, because some of you, Aries, not all of you, but some of you, Aries, are, you know, you are hanging on to a very old heartbreak. So, but it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter if it's old or new. So, yes, yeah, some of you, Aries, a recent heartbreak, you know, whatever uh, degree it is, I call it the degrees, right? Because when it's new, it's like really, I'm like, um, you know, it's like black belt degree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The temperature is hot. Um, and then, you know, obviously with time and stuff, um, you know, it settles, but it's still there. So, you know, uh, continue knowing that you're thriving, continue to know that you're releasing some type of old energy, old hurt. Um, you don't need to carry it with you any longer because Aries, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, whatever was, you know, 
whatever is destined for you, it's on its way. And it, it's, it is a destined thing here, okay? Um, I see Archangel Raphael that's looking over you and another here for some type of solid uh, commitment. I mean, we're getting this very strong here. So um, the path is leading you right, Aries. You've got to trust in the unknown. The unknown is where your miracles and blessings happen. The unknown is where your divine partner is for some of you Aries okay so be wise in your choices right now Aries I was talking to you about you know balance remember something uh, you know something about balance here and here's the lovers here so you know whatever you're investing it's paying off here have patience look at this look at this you've been doing the work you've been doing what Oh my God, is that the four of swords right behind? Oh my God, okay, yeah, that's just this, I mean, come on. You know, um, didn't we do, oh yeah. Release the old and rest, you know, uh, meditate. Three of swords after the three of swords is the four of swords. Look at the story that's coming out, see? You guys are getting glimpses of your future story. You have nothing to worry about. The only thing that I can say is some of you Aries, hesitation will be your challenge. So just think about that. Maybe it's not resonating right now. It may in the, uh, in the near future here though. Okay. Um, but you've got a big thing. You've got a big deal. You also may have a whole new uh, uh, commitment or major purchase here. Okay. So I was getting something about this. When the time comes, Aries, you're going to easily come out of your comfort zone, okay? But for the time being, have patience here, okay? Um, take that time to retreat and recharge, right? Because what you've done and what you've been putting effort to and towards is paying off here. Look at that. And then will be time to take action. And here you are, Aries, about to take action, okay? So you do need to rest and recharge because either you're taking action or someone's taking action towards you. And you might be finding yourself like traveling, doing a lot of fun things, being spontaneous here. Oh my God, just being in your uh, energy here with the Knight of Wands. Oh God, I don't even want to look. Should we look at what's behind this? <laughs> and then that's it, okay? Let's see. Oh, see, look at that. Moving into a different direction of that sadness here. See, something and someone is going to get you out of this grief. Have patience with yourself, Aries. Now, some of you, Spirit is also saying, some of you, Aries, get up, get out and get moving here. This is going to shake, you know, the energy. You know, it, getting out and getting moving it can also be tied in with retreating and recharging as long as it's you're doing something that is filling you up, not depleting you, okay? Um, I mean, like, for example, you know, I like to go, sometimes I just like to go out for drives, um, and I make sure I've, I've really practiced a lot for a lot of years to make sure that I try to be thoughtless actually while I'm driving. I'm very aware, very, very attentive and paying attention. So it becomes a meditation for me, you know? And so, um, I'm lucky enough that I go out onto these like back country roads where there's not a whole lot of cars and traffic and it just is so, it's just so freeing. I feel like I'm on my horse, you know, my big horse. Um, cause I always got the windows rolled down cause I love the air. I don't care what the weather's doing. Um, but also I do love to sit and retreat cause I love to be still, you know, so you've got to find, you know, balance, right? Um, so yeah, you're, you're going to be coming out of a, a period of, you know, such disappointment Aries I know but what I like actually in this um, five of cups I don't know if you guys are noticing but your aura and your energy is becoming clear here there's a white aura around you so something is purifying you're allowing something to leave your body energetically it's these heavy emotions Aries okay um, and so keep releasing because you're going to be divinely blessed um, you've got the two of cups, Aries. You've got some type of true love situation here. 
regardless of the circumstances you do it's going to happen and it's going to happen soon for many of you now some of you aries if you're already involved you can see um a situation deepening here okay and uh resolving things but that's going to be the ones that are currently like married or involved you'll know um but for many of you this is a new start <laughs> it's a new thing it's going to have um it's going to have such an impact on you uh, that you can't help but keep evolving because of it. What else for Aries? Aries, you're tired. You're almost there though, Aries, see? And look, there could be something with a home, um, but yeah, you do need a rest. Look, your, your house is right there. But we may you may not be able to see it. You might have overburdened yourself. Some of you, yeah. Some of you, you could have gotten so excited about something and you didn't realize that you were just, you know, taking on more than you could handle or just too much, right? Too much. Hmm. Shift your perception. Some of you, there's maybe many people or demand on your time and your energy and you really got, see, this is why you have to, you know, uh, stick up for yourself, right? You, you can express yourself and say what you need in a loving way, right? Respectfully here. Um, because I feel that some of you Aries are learning to say no without attaching a reason or excuse behind it, you know, which is helping you become more powerful here. All right. So what else? Here, oh my gosh, I was just looking at that thinking man too. This is someone who is, um, fair. This is all about truth and honesty too and gathering all the necessary information so um aries a lot of you are you know you got to be a tough cookie here when it comes to making the change look at this knight of swords I, my god is this someone coming here is this you guys like going to take that sword and cut up all that rope here my goodness let's get a little bit more with this knight of swords we got uh gemini libra aquarius coming through here now, for some of you, Aries, if you're not feeling so confident about something just quite yet to help you get moving here, um, you will. There's so something that's going to be coming through the higher forces here that's going to give you that um, that wind, that wind of charge, like to be in charge here, like this surge of energy to really take charge and to, you know, uh, remove obstacles that are necessary to remove because you're going towards victory, Aries. Let's get a little bit more too with this Knight of Swords for Aries. Make plans and focus. Ah, yes. And just keep continuing. Okay. So holding the space is... Um, really confirmation areas that you really are in the uh, right place at the right time. Make plans and focus. Look at this. The shield maiden even has uh, this the sword here. So spirit is saying move with confidence, right? But a lot of you Aries, you've got, you really have to take the time, you know, quit trying to do too much, right? You really have to cut out and carve out time for you to rest and recharge because you're going to want to focus and you know, you want to make plans and focus and take action here. So hold that space of light and truth that you already know exists within you. And you're not going to go wrong here, no matter what is going on. I do feel some of you areas are dealing with someone or maybe a few people. I don't know. It's very challenging, I would say. Um, Because they're they think they're right all the time. And, and you know. There's always like, <laughs> you know, different, you know, what do they say? Two sides to a story. So maybe for some of you Aries, what can help you is just having compassion and, and understanding that, you know, um, you could just agree to disagree, right? I'm taking a sip of my water, Aries. So yeah, Aries, I feel that you're going to be better off just kind of trying to be neutral and tolerant of others, especially if you know others could really challenge you, okay? Because you're almost to this like finish line or something here, and, you're, and your hard work is definitely paying off. Um, what else for Aries? 
Okay, that's it for those. So Aries, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Aries have to look forward to in the near future? Feeling secure. Uh, oh my goodness. That's so cute. Look who showed up. Archangel Michael. <laughs> So first chakra, this is all about, you know, your sense of security, uh, comfort. Uh, yes, possibly passion here too, but more importantly, feeling comforted by life, right? Trusting that you're thriving here. You will be provided for as well, Aries. So yeah, you guys have a lot of comforts to look forward to. Uh, don't give in to fear or worry. Okay. Remember father sky has got your back. Oh my goodness. You guys are connect. You will be connecting with someone Aries. We got the, the counterpart. Oh my gosh. So Aries, um, I think it was the last SOS reading that I did that the, the counterpart of the thinking man and the thinking woman came out, or it could have been as another Zodiac sign, but you're like the second one that I've seen that these have come out together here. So, um, a lot of you Aries, this first chakra, you know, you're getting uh, more in tuned. You're getting some type of plan and you're going to be just fine to, to really feel secure in your life, Aries. And yes, for a lot of you, you're attracting someone here uh, towards you, Aries. I mean, it's just, it's like no joke. Okay. And this is what you have to look forward to really, really soon. Oh my goodness. Like Archangel Raphael and, and Michael are, are, um, you know, conspiring something and someone for you. So let's find out how spirit is helping you currently, Aries. How is spirit helping Aries? Well, there's Archangel Raphael. I told you it's like Archangel Mike, Michael and Archangel Raphael are conspiring for you. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, spirits helping you and Archangel Raphael is helping you open your heart, healing your heart, uh, releasing unnecessary burdens through by allowing you to see and feel your emotions for what they are, right? They're just blessings in life that you got to experience um, and, and get ready to crack your heart even wider and bigger here. Okay. Cause there's something going on um, with the divine and your answers being prayed here through love Aries. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.